Hello everyone, welcome to Tech and Target. I am Hemant and in this video, we will be discussing the third question of the InfiTQ coding preparation series. So let's get started. So the problem statement is very simple. So the name of the question is the reversal of a non-duplicate string. The problem statement is quite simple. It says we have to write a program to reverse a string after removing the duplicate characters of that string. So the question says, so you will be provided with the string input. So what you have to do is you have to keep removing the duplicate characters from that given string and you have to reverse that string after you remove all the duplicate characters from that string. So the input format they have given us the only line consists of a string input. So the, uh, the input consists of only a single line which consists of a string input that you have to uh, reverse right so after removing the duplicate uh, characters now what is output format so in the as an output you have to print the reverse of the string obtained after removing the duplicate characters so you just have to uh, print the string which you will be getting after removing the duplicate characters and uh, uh, after removing the duplicate characters you have to reverse that string then you have to print it not just the uh, string that you obtain after removing the duplicates, but you have to print the reverse of it, right? Now we'll see some uh, basic examples, then we'll move on to the code part. So the uh, first example is, uh, the first example is Infosys. So what's happening here, the output format is YS, uh, the output for this uh, input is YSO FNI. So if you carefully observe, this is Infosys. So the, uh, approach that we are going to uh, use here is so we, we will be starting our iteration from the first letter of our or, or the first character of our given string so let us uh, give this indices right so this is four five then six so what we will be doing is we will start looping from the first letter of our uh, given string and uh, to store the result we will keep a result uh, string as well so we'll initialize it with the null string in the beginning. So what we will do is, so we will start looping from the first letter of the word, uh, first letter of the given string. And what we will do, we will check whether this letter is already present in your resultant string that you are building it, right? If that is already there, then you will not include this particular letter, right? If this letter is not present in this resultant string that you are creating, then what you will do, you will add this letter in the beginning of your resultant string, not at the end. Because if you add that letter at the end, what will happen? You will again have to reverse your entire string, which is again order of n uh, operation, which, which is not necessary in our case. So to avoid that, what we will do is, so if this character, if the current character, if that is not present, and, uh, present in the resultant string, what you will do is you will directly add this letter in the beginning of your resultant string so that you may not have to again reverse the given string. So yes, so this is what we will be doing. So as per the given thing, uh, as per the given algorithm, what I have told you. So this I is not present in the resultant string because the resultant string is currently empty. So since this is not uh, present in the resultant string, what we will do now? So we will add that I to a result. So result is equal to I plus result. So result was initially empty. So re now the result would become result is equal to I. Now, after this, now we will see this uh, letter. Now current letter is N. Now we will see whether this N is present in this resultant string. So resultant string is currently I. So is N present in this I? No, it is not. So if that is not the case, we will add that N in the beginning of your resultant string. So beginning, so what was the resultant string in the beginning? So it was I. Now what will happen after uh, considering this N? Now it will be ENI, right? Now we'll move on to the next uh, character. Now the current character is F. Now we will again check whether this F is present in this resultant string. Now we see that there is no F in this resultant string. So what we will do, we will again add that F in the beginning of your resultant string. Now we'll move on to the next character, which is O. Now we will see whether uh, O is present in this given string. No, it is not. So if that is not, then what we will do, we will add that letter in the beginning of our resultant string. 
Now we'll move on for the next character, which is S. Now again, we will check whether this S is present in this resultant string. So we see that there is no S in the resultant string as of now. So we will again add that to our result in the beginning, right? Now it becomes S O E F N I. Now we'll move on to the next letter, which is Y. Now we again see that Y is not present in this resultant string till now. So we will add that in our beginning of the sentence. Or beginning of this word. Now we will move on to the next letter, which is S, and we see that yes, this resultant string is already containing this S. So if this is containing this S, then you will not have to do. You should not have to do anything. You just go for next letter. But we see that the uh, the string is you know completed, and you have you may have to stop here now. So whatever is there at the end of this uh, iteration, so that will be your result, and you have to print that result. So the result is y s o f n i, and the resultant that we need we should have to get was y s o f n i. So this thing is matching with this thing. So you just have to directly print y s o f n i in this particular example now we will try to apply the same logic on the second uh, second test case as well so so what is the second test case that you have got we have got the second test case as google isn't it now so firstly what we will do as i said we will assign indices to this so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 all right now after assigning the indices what did i tell you so we will start iterating from the first letter of the uh, first letter of the given string so this is actually string str now what was the resultant string so firstly we will initialize it with null isn't it so the uh, initially the resultant string will be null isn't it now what we will do we will start looping from the first letter of the a uh, given string and we will see whether that particular letter is in string uh, result in string already if that is there we will not do anything if that is not there then we will add that particular current character to the beginning of the result in string now we see that result int is empty so we directly add this g to the result in the beginning so result will now become g all right now we see that the second letter is o and this letter o is not present in this resultant string so we will add that to the beginning of our resultant string all right now we will move on to the third letter now we see that the third letter is o which is already present in our resultant string so we will not do anything we will just move on to the next letter all right now we again see that the next fourth letter is again g so we see that this particular letter g is already present in this resultant string uh, resultant string so we will not do anything and we'll just move on to the next character right so we see that the next character is l and if we check that in resultant whether this resultant is connect, uh, containing this letter l so we see that there is no l so what we will do we'll add that to the beginning of our result all right now it will become log now we'll move on to the next letter the next letter is e and we see that there is no e in resultant string so you will add that to your resultant string in the beginning so now this will be like this now after that we see that the string is uh, you know the string is completed the string input is completed now whatever the string that you have got as a resultant string that you will print so what is the resultant that you have got it is e log so you will print e log and you will exit from the program so this is the approach that we are going to follow so you can also use a, another method also which is uh, you know firstly find uh, removing out all the uh, duplicate characters then uh, after duplicating it uh, after removing the duplicates then you can again uh, call the reverse function on the uh, string that we have created so you can do that way also but the thing is the time complexity will be again increased by order of n which is not necessary because we can directly do this using uh, this approach right so what we are doing instead of doing result is equal to result plus current character what we are doing is resultant is equal to character plus resultant so what hap what is happening here is so instead of putting the current character at the last or appending the current character at the last we are actually adding that character in the beginning so that we may not have to again reverse it in the end so this way you are saving your time complexity right so yeah so i hope you are able to understand the approach that we are dealing with so with that being said let's move on to the code part now the code part is also very simple as an as said 
so we are creating a string class so this is all not necessary for you now uh, so this is the thing from which uh, it is very important to learn so firstly we'll create a scanner class uh, firstly we'll create a scanner object to take the user input now uh, as the, as they said what was the only line of input consists of it consists of a string input right and that there was only one input that user is going to give to us right so for that reason what we are doing here so we are taking a string input from the user using sc dot next line now afterwards as i've told you uh, here so to represent our answer we are creating one more variable called as result or res so which is of type string and we are initializing with the empty string all right now what did i tell you so we will start looping from the first letter of your string and we will go on till the end of your given string and what we will do in each iteration in each iteration we will grab the current character all right so char cur is equal to str dot caret i which means we are grabbing the current character and we are checking that in our result if not result dot contains string dot value of cur so that's that means if the result does not contain the current character then you will do what you will be adding your current character at the beginning of your result in string all right not at the end but at the beginning so that you may not have to reverse it again right so what you are doing so for the result you are appending your current character at the beginning so that you sh you may not have to reverse the uh, result in string again at the end right so it will save you order of n time all right now so we are doing it for the entire uh, entire string now once you complete the iteration of the loop what we are doing we are coming out of the loop and we are directly printing the result in string that we have got right so this is just very simple code so if if the current 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 character is already present in the result in string you will not do anything you will just go for the next iteration or if that current character is not present and uh, not present in the result in string then only you are adding that character at the beginning of your result in string so this is what the fundamental concept behind the problem that they have asked so let us run this and uh, see uh, whether we'll be getting the correct output for this question or not right now so what was the first input that we've got it is enforces and we are getting yso fni so which is right for this question now we will uh, see the second we'll try for the second input as well which is google so and we are getting a log so yes this is it for this video and uh, i hope i was able to explain you the approach as well as the code properly if i did please like this video and uh, comment down uh, if you have any further doubts or uh, if uh, if you have any suggestions so that uh, we will um, improve our content as well and uh, yeah thanks for watching the entire video if you want to code it in other languages uh, you can uh, direct you can easily code it uh, since you have uh, understood the approach well now yes thanks for watching the entire video so we'll meet you in the next video so till then take care bye bye